workouts and they're bringing their lunches with them so they don't have to leave the gym in the afternoon. You know, I mean, guys are taking this sport so serious and you can see, you can see the difference in skill level from five years ago to now. You know, the athletes that are out there now are just phenomenal. And you could, you know, obviously they put the time in. So that's what it takes. It takes time. It takes a lot of dedication. Would you, um, what, what, what would you say is the, obviously the strongest point of, of your game is wrestling. Um, you've come back from quite a strong, you come from quite a strong wrestling background. Someone who's maybe sort of not got that same background, how often would you, uh, would you ask them to train in wrestling just... No, is, is it that key of uh, that key of a skill now in mixed martial arts that uh, you should really be training that? I think it's just as key as any other any other part of this game. I'd actually say wrestling's probably more of a key, just because wrestling I think it it it, it benefits you in, in every situation, whether it be stand up or or ground, uh, top or bottom. Wrestlers are very hard to hold down. Uh, wrestlers are impossible to get off of you if they got on, if they're on top of you. They're hard to take down. They're they're hard to they're hard to uh, they're hard to defend takedowns against. You know, so wrestling's pretty key. You know, I'd, I'd say as far as wrestling goes, you know, work it just like you work anything else. Uh, whatever you know, however many days you do jujitsu, you should be working your wrestling just as many or your boxing just as many. You, you're obviously well known for your conditioning. Um, you've been uh, immortalized with the the UFC uh, coming around and following around for a day. What's your split between skill and conditioning and sparring? Well, everything everything I do is conditioning. Um, when I'm sparring, that's conditioning. That's a great conditioning workout. My heart rate gets up to, to 190, maybe 195. That's max for me. Max for me is you know around 192. That's the highest, you know, highest I've ever had in my heart rate was actually 192. That's when I was doing uh, bleachers. I was doing bleacher sprints. Got up to 192. So I wear my heart rate monitor for everything I do except for grappling. You, know, you can't wear it when you grapple. I wear it, I wear it as, a, as a tool to, 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 let, to tell myself how hard I'm working. Um, and like I said, every, every exercise you do besides drilling, drilling's not a conditioning exercise, but that's, that's more something that you do uh, during your downtime. But, so every, every exercise you do is conditioning. Hitting pads, conditioning. Sparring, conditioning, um, uh, grappling on the ground, conditioning, and then I work with my conditioning coach specifically on my conditioning caveman type stuff. Uh, I do that uh, twice a week when I'm training for a fight. Last question I've got anyway. <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot of talk about the elevation mask and that's obviously something that you're, uh, you're keen on. Um, how, how, do, you, do you think it really makes that much of a difference to your conditioning when you're, when you're training? I started using the training mask uh, uh, before I fought BJ, probably about a month before I fought BJ, I started using it, and I did, I did feel a big difference. Uh, at that point in time, the training mask wasn't really specifically the training mask at that point in time, it was just the gas mask that we had at the gym. My conditioning was so good that I had to always try to find ways to push it, push it, push it, push it, and constantly make it better and, and tire me out. So. Yeah, we, uh, we, we threw that on me and put me through a workout. I got tired, for sure. So ever since that point in time, it's been a mainstay in my training camp ever since uh, uh, 2007. That was 2000, no, that was 2008. So everything since 2008, the, the training mask has been a mainstay in my, in my training camps. So I swear by it. I wouldn't use it if, I wouldn't use it, if it didn't work. You know, as, as a professional fighter, we, we do things that work only. We don't have time to, to do things that don't work. So. Excellent. Has anyone got any other questions? Anyone else? You said about 12 hours a day. I wasn't specifically training 12 hours a day. I would do a good, you know, a good intense one hour workout. I'd have a three hour break and then I'd do another intense one hour, have a two hour break and then, you know, so on and so forth. But yeah, during those breaks, I would have specific meals Sit waiting for me. What would you say would be your best recovery then for a plane? Recovery meal? Yeah. Uh, like first that. thing I always do, like, uh, first thing I always do is either baby food. I got that sitting on the, the waiting, waiting for me all the time. It's always, it's actually in my hotel room right now, as a matter of fact. Like, I, I eat that stuff all the time. When people think I'm nuts, but it's like, you know, I mean, it's, it's super fast energy. It's already broke down for you. 
you know, so it's, you drink it and you, it's instant energy, you know, it's like, it's like drinking a liquid multivitamin or something, so it's fast energy, uh, so I do that, and then I always do a protein drink with uh, oatmeal and uh, raw oatmeal and bananas, you know, I keep a blender at the gym too, so, so that's usually the first thing I do when I'm done training, and then, uh, then I'll actually sit down and eat my real food, you know, fish and broth and all that stuff, but, you know, when you're working out three times a day, you want to you wanna have enough energy to, to get yourself through that second workout. Um, solid food takes a lot of time to, 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 to digest and get into the body and, and start working as energy. So you drink the, drink the baby food, boom, boom, that's a liquid, gets in your body immediately. Then you do the protein drinks with the, with the ground up uh, oatmeal and bananas, and that gets into your body immediately and starts providing energy within 45 minutes, half hour probably. How many calories and how much protein would you say you have on your sandwich right there? My protein, well, I do protein, uh, I do protein two or three times, two, probably twice a day, maybe three times a day. Um, how much protein do I get? Maybe 140 to 150, you know? They say you need one gram of protein per pound of body weight, and I walk around 175. I, just, I can't get myself up to 100 grams of protein. That's, that's too much. I feel like if I get too much, I myself feel like it actually slows me down a little bit. Because protein's a little harder to digest, to digest. Plus, it's not really good for your kidneys and all that stuff. Because you know? your kidney, whatever you put in your body, your kidney's got to digest it. It's got to work with it and break it down. Uh, so... I, I get it maybe 140, 150. I eat a lot of fish and chicken too, though. You know? So a lot of it comes from that. Here we have uh, Sean Shirk at Full and Kazan in Bradford. Uh, first of all, Sean, thank you for an excellent session today. Really enjoyed it. All the guys were buzzing after the session. I uh, understand you got a trip over to Grimsby and then uh, you've got another eight seminars after that? I've got, um, I've got seven seminars uh, remaining on the tour here. So, yeah, I had a great time, you know. Um, guys here were, were real uh, eager to learn and everyone was smiling and happy. So that's, that makes my job a lot easier. So I appreciate that for sure. Excellent. Any, anything you want to mention? Any fights? Any uh, products you're coming out with soon? I've got no fights scheduled right now. Uh, I've been hitting the seminar tour real hard. I've uh, been doing a lot of stuff with uh, Trendy Mast, uh, my training product right now, which is, which is just killing it in the UK. Uh, we've got some real good distributors and a lot of people here in the UK using the Trendy Mast, so I appreciate that as well. So that's all I got. Excellent. Thanks a lot for that today, Sean. I, uh, I, hopefully um, people will take advantage of you coming over to the UK, and uh, if not, we'll, uh, we'll hopefully kick their ass when we uh, face them in a fight. Uh, for sure. Cheers. Thank Thanks, Sean.